This is episode 20 of Ask Mogs Anything, the series where I answer questions from you guys about side type and about myself. This episode features Grand Champion ranked 1v1's gameplay from some of the best players in the world, and it includes answers to questions about topics like what to focus on in 2v2s, the best device to play side type on, and what will I do if side type gets cancelled. All of the gameplay shown in this video was provided by Ko, so huge thank you to him. His Discord server link is on screen and in the video description. And all of the questions answered in this video came from my Discord server. If you want to submit your own questions for future episodes, come join the Mog's Discord server. The details are again on screen and in the video description. Alright, let's get into the first match and the first question. But first, a huge shout out to ExpressVPN. If you've ever wanted to play Sideswipe in a different region, say over with me in Japan, ExpressVPN is how you do it. I can tell you from experience it 100% works, and honestly, the ping's actually decent too. And right now, every single MOGS viewer is going to get a huge discount of 3 months off all 12 month subscriptions, meaning it just got a whole lot cheaper for you to jump into a different region and destroy your opponents over there. How good is that? So go check out ExpressVPN via the link on screen under the video description. Alright, so the first question comes from Kevin and they ask, amazing video, thank you. Uh, now, Mugs, what are you going to do if Sideswipe gets cancelled on all platforms? All platforms, I mean, it's only on mobile, isn't it? Um, what am I going to do? Well, I'm already kind of doing it, you know, I don't know how many of you guys know, but I, I already do, um, most of my content that I make these days actually is on Helldivers 2, which is on my other channel, Mogs HD. Um, and so I'm kind of already doing it. I mean, I'm, I'm focusing mostly on that and then I'm just doing side swipe like a few videos a month. Um, <clears throat> so what will I do? I guess I'll keep doing what I'm doing and then I'll just change the game that I'm playing on the Mogs channel to another game. I don't know which one. Uh, I've been talking to people about maybe doing Fortnite content. Um, I could do some new game modes or something uh, that come out in that if I think that there's something that looks interesting. Uh, I could do that or I could do another game that, that I'm looking forward to. There's a game coming out. I'm not sure when it's actually going to be out, but it's sort of similar to Rocket League. So it's got that competitive element and it's, it's like a soccer game. Um, but I'm not 100% sure about that one yet. So, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I would just find another game to do. Um, I'd just switch to something else. And I think Fortnite's probably an easy transition because a lot of you guys already play that, according to my polls. Um, so I could, yeah, just, just try some game in that. Um, but yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. If you think that you've, you know, if you've got your eye on some game that's maybe coming out soon, like a new game, because I'm more interested in new games um that you think could be a good fit for my channel then let me know down in the comments i'd be i'd be keen to hear about it all right next one comes from eternals dummy and they ask mugs how long have you been learning stalls and what would be your best training routine i mean i've been learning stalls since they were a thing so you know i don't know how long that is a couple of years almost basically since the start of the game uh since my first stall tutorial anyway um and but you know I, it's not something that i've really focused a huge amount on i'm not very good at stalls I, I i don't i'm not one of those players who can do insane stall chains or anything um un unless i practice a ton but i don't practice a ton so <laughs> um, in terms of my best training routine it depends on what stage you're at if you're ultra beginner then i'd recommend going into the hoops arena and practicing just getting those first stalls um uh, but it just depends on your level, yeah, and depends on which part of the stall routine that you, uh, you know, stall process that you're struggling with. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'd be looking at, at all, any of my stall tutorials. I put um, training routines and stuff in there, so I'll put some of them on screen. You can have a, you can have a look in um, in my channel. Just search for stall, and you should find it. Um, next question comes from Samosa, and they ask, Mugs, did you ever think you would be popular? And how is it different from being regular? <laughs> I, I wouldn't consider myself as popular. Um, I mean, I I guess you're just talking about YouTube popularity. Um, no, I didn't think I would ever be popular. I, when I started doing YouTube, um, 
I was in, I was amazed when I had a hundred subscribers, you know, I just was, I did like a 1000 credit giveaway on my channel, which was a Rocket League channel back then. And so I, you know, when I hit a hundred subs, I was so excited. I spent a month, like I spent real money on rewarding people for watching me. It was crazy. Um, you know, and then I hit a thousand and that was, that was amazing as well. So excited. Um, but yeah, I, I really, I mean, I love the community that i have uh built and yeah it feels good i i really enjoy engaging with you guys and you know chatting with people in discord and if you're not a member of my discord server yet come come join it um because i sometimes hang out there and chat with people and um yeah i really enjoy that it's been one of the most rewarding things is is having so many people to engage with that that enjoy my content enjoy the things that i'm putting out and i never thought i would have so many people watching something that I created you know like every month I have 300,000 people viewing something that I've made and that is a very strange experience because usually in in life you know you make something you might write some story or you might make a you know draw a picture or something and some people might see it but at least when I was growing up like it was you know having a platform where you could put something out and have thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people view it, it was just so uncommon like it, you, you, I would never have even dreamed of that you know it's not even something I would even have imagined so um yeah that's been really rewarding as well um just putting something out and having people give you feedback on it that that, that was quite hard to come by when I was a kid uh, so yeah, I really love that and it's great to get really positive feedback and on the flip side You get lots of negative stuff as well and especially on my other channel Mogs HD I've gotten yeah, lots of negative feedback and stuff and you have to just you kind of have to just Accept it and be like, okay, people have different opinions and you know I guess I don't I'm not on the same wavelength sort of thing and they don't understand what I was going for or maybe I missed the mark or you know you have to kind of be mature and you know um, learn to deal with that and, and not take it personally and stuff and maybe learn from it <clears throat> but it's hard anyway uh, i don't know i'm not even sure what your original question was um how is it different from being regular it sounds like a troll question <laughs> uh okay anyway next one comes from kevin again and they ask mogs what should i focus on when playing twos I, the most important thing to focus on when playing twos is your teammate. You have to focus on your teammate and not over committing, not double committing. Um, I don't really have any other advice other than that. I think I think maybe, well, I guess also when you're going up for the ball, um, speed is really important, you know. And if, if you're not the first up to the ball, if you're not the first to jump, you know, and your and your speed flip sort of not speed flip, but your um, fast aerial technique isn't really on point then you need to make sure you're countering you're adjusting for that and and putting your car in a defensive position to to block the attacker attacker's play uh, but yeah I've, I've noticed when when watching like the top players if they go up for the ball they're lightning fast to get up to it and they usually get up and put the bottom of the car on the ball and get a reset get boost reset get a stall you know get a flip reset and stuff so that's really important that fast aerial up and put the bottom of your car on the ball incredibly important in twos especially um just to sort of keep yourself in the play because otherwise you're if you get up to the ball and you have no flip you've kind of screwed you can't do anything from there so that's really really important too um but yeah i think mostly just paying attention to your teammate making sure that you guys have good rotation and you're not double committing and stuff um but yeah i don't know what rank you are in two so i'm only you know diamond or something so i'm not i'm not amazing uh but I, I just watch a lot of the top players and i learn from them all right next one comes from seam and they ask mogs how's hell has been and what's your opinion on the game hell is amazing so i've been playing hell divers 2 a lot on my second channel and it's one of the best games ever i mean if you if you have a playstation or you have a pc you have to play hell divers 2 it's so much fun and it's a four-player co-op game. You can play with randoms online. You can play with cross-platform. You can play on your own. Like, it's just so versatile. And the gameplay is just so engaging and fun. Um, so, yeah, it might be a little bit expensive for some of you guys. I know a lot of you guys are quite young. So it might be a bit too expensive. But, I don't know, wait for it to go on sale and then pick it up. Because it's just it's one of the most fun games you'll ever play. Um, so highly recommend it. 
Next one comes from Del Lavox and they ask, what's your favorite mechanic in Sideswipe and Rocket League? I mean, different in both. Uh, in Sideswipe, my favorite mechanic, I always give the same answer, is the white gold shot, uh, which was created by Rubledge, one of the old time like uh, vet players um, from the very early days. And um, he, he taught me how to do it. Uh, he taught me and Jelly and me and Jelly kind of helped each other and taught each other how to do it. And um, I made a tutorial about it. That's definitely my favorite. I absolutely love it. It's just so damn cool. Um, if I had to do a second, it'd probably just be like a follow through gold shot, which I really love as well. Um, and because um, it's just, I didn't realize how significant it would become in the side tech, like um, GC community. I, I thought it would be a kind of really niche, uh, useless mechanic, but it's become real mainstream. Um, so in Rocket League, favorite mechanic. Oh, jeez, uh, I'm not very mechanical in in Rocket League. Um, I guess ceiling shot. You know, just the whole seal. The fact that you have an infinite flip when you come off the ceiling. I love that. I think that's just so cool and flashy. Um, yeah, I don't really have a good answer to that. I guess the ceiling shot maybe is my favorite mechanic. That's a crappy answer. Our next one comes from Samosa, and they ask, "What's your favorite opinion?" Sorry, what's your opinion that they gave chromatic dominances as a season reward? Yeah, it's not good. I, I think it's a terrible reward. Um, I think they, instead of going to cars, they should have gone to, well, they should have given us a unique car, like a new car. That would have been great. Uh, but they should, have, I think they should have given us things like boosts and wheels and, you know, different colored. That would be so much cooler. I like, I don't know, Dominus's? I mean, no, it's it's not a symbol of your rank. Like, no one, if you're driving a purple Dominus or a chromatic Dominus, nobody knows that you got that from the season reward. So it's just a, just a terrible reward. Uh, they should have given us some, like, if you're champ, they should have given you, like, a purple goal explosion. You know, that'd be a million times better. So, no, I don't like it. I think it's a really bad reward. Our next one comes from Nogs and they ask, day three of asking Mogs to make how to get a plat vid. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about this again. I, I, I've, I intended on doing another one because my how to get a plat vid is quite old now. Um, I will think about it. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking about it. Uh, I, I should make a how to get out of diamond first though, I would say. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of sleeping on that because I'm so busy with my other channel. And yeah, I'm sort of struggling to find time to make tutorials inside swipe just because it just takes such a crazy amount of time um like you know I, I don't know if you guys know but i used to spend 20 30 hours on tutorials like my that stall tutorial my gold shot tutorial they would have taken me like 20 or 30 hours to make like there was a significant amount of work um these days i probably wouldn't spend that much time on it but uh yeah just because i'm probably faster at making videos but it's, it's still a lot of work, so I'm not 100% sure if I can make it, but it's it's something I do want to do. So yeah, I'll try. Our right, next one comes from Domi, Eternal's Domi. They ask, what is the best device to play side swipe on? That's easy. The best device is, I would say by far, an iPad um, or a tablet. Uh, if you have a high performing tablet, I think that's the best. You don't have to go with any, you don't have to like deal with a small screen, like a smartphone, and you don't have to deal with like an emulator on PC. So I think an iPad's the best. Uh, maybe iPad with controller is <laughs> probably best for most players because you have a bigger view. You have a, you have a wider view of the, of the um, field. So I think that's the best for sure. Okay, I'm trying to get through lots of questions. Uh, next one comes from Pasta, and they ask you, Mugs, what made you decide to start this server? So the Discord server, I'm assuming you mean. Um, people just asked me back in the early days of my channel, um, can you, like, do you have a Discord? And I and I'd never used Discord. Like, it was not something I ever really used at all. So I was totally unfamiliar with it, and I didn't really know how to make a server or anything. And I was really lucky because early on I met a guy who wanted to help me set it up, who's who was Sogs. You got all well, you guys would know him as Sogs or Switch, um, and he helped me just he helped me immensely to set up the server. So massive props to him. Uh, and then um, and then Stank came along as well and helped us, you know, make everything more professional and organize more organized and stuff. So that's how it all got built. I didn't build it really at all. I just sort of guided, you know, I just made decisions. The guy, the, the two admins would just ask me what, what I wanted to do. And, you know, I would ask them for advice and we just kind of did it collaboratively. 
Uh, but I, I mostly don't really understand Discord very well. Um, so I'd I just left them, let them do most of it because <laughs> I didn't really get it. Uh, but what, what made me decide I just wanted a community. I wanted to, some way of engaging with you guys. I didn't realize that it would be so useful. I didn't think oh, oh, I'd be able to use it to make videos, like make like, collaboration videos where, you know, like side type players versus the rank they think they deserve and all that stuff. I started using it for that, but that wasn't the original plan. So I just thought it would be a place to hang out, you know. Um, so I was really pleasantly surprised that it was actually useful to make content um, as well as being fun to hang out and stuff. <clears throat> All right, next one comes from Deku Bombs and they ask, what is a mechanic that I could learn and improve from silver rank? I mean, that's you don't need mechanics at that rank. I recommend just watching my um, how to get out of silver uh, video and yeah you, the, uh, there's two videos actually the short stack tutorials um and that'll help you get out of silver but in terms of mechanics i mean i would just say a simple gold shot like a horse kick sort of thing from the ground um if you get if you can get good at gold shots in silver you'll be out of silver by the afternoon you know by the end of the afternoon because it means that you can take shots without committing to the shot and flipping up field like so it's, it's just the most useful shot you can learn um at, at any rank really because it's so safe so yeah learn gold shots 100 um that's my advice don't learn stalls you just met if you're any gold if you're any silver you're not gonna you'll mess them up all right next one comes from kevin's son and they ask what's your favorite side swipe player um doro 100 he's just he's a mate and i i've worked with him a lot and i i, I really like him um and um, I love his playstyle. I think his playstyle is similar to my own. If I had, was mechanically as gifted as him, uh, yeah, that's definitely my favorite player. <laughs> I don't mean to take uh, pick favorites, but yeah, I mean you asked, so I have to. All right, next one comes from Isaac, and they ask Mogs, why don't you do normal Rocket League? you versus rank you deserve yeah i mean i should I, i've thought about it many times i think it wouldn't be as entertaining because my my way of doing the you versus rank series is to just commentate it all myself and you know rocket league matches are like six or seven minutes each if you include all the you know replays and all the downtime of the goals and you know everything like that so um it's quite a long time of just me talking over one match and, and and i'd also have to be switching perspectives as i'm commentating so it'd just be a bit hard i don't, I don't know if it would be entertaining because most people i think everyone when they're doing the uverse rank series in rocket league they have voice comms of all the players and i don't really want to do that it doesn't really interest me uh to do it that way so i would be doing commentary so I'm just not sure it would work. I don't know. Um, I could try. Uh, you know, no limit. Let me know what you guys think down below if you think it'll be entertaining just to have me commentating the whole time. Uh, but yeah, I do. I would love to. I'd love to for that to blow up. That would be amazing. Uh, next one comes from Fizzles, and that's one uh, one thing you've taken away from your sideswipe YouTube channel journey. Oh, that's a big question. Um, <clears throat> one thing I've taken away, jeez. I mean, jeez. I, I, I would. This is kind of negative, but I would say the 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 main thing that I've taken away is that being a YouTuber is really stressful, and um, it's just a brutal job uh, because. You, you know, we use that term, we say YouTuber, that, that's sort of a, that's kind of a euphemism. Like, what does that mean, actually? What's a YouTuber? So I, I think the, the term content creator, that's much more accurate because if you think about it, a YouTuber, like a YouTuber or a content creator, you're essentially a studio and it's, you're just one person. So I do everything on my own and it's so much work and it's so much responsibility and being and the other thing is like being creative as a job is brutal because you know creativity is this like um it's like this energy and if you then say okay i'm gonna make money from uh that creative force that's a lot of pressure on on something that should be kind of free to flow as it 
wants to within you because it can create the creative force it's kind of like this living thing it feels like that anyway and so sometimes you just don't feel like it sometimes you're just not in the mood and but you feel this constant pressure to make videos to get content out and you know you you have to be constantly fresh and you have to be constantly new ideas and you know not getting pushed around by the algorithm or whatever you perceive the algorithm to be pushing you in whatever direction or you know not pandering to the audience that you you perceive the audience as wanting this type of content but you don't want to make that kind of content but you constantly feel pushed around um and then you have you're fighting constantly to like stay true to yourself and you know, to make the content that you're interested in that you're motivated to make that you're passionate about without selling out and blah 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 so it's quite it's quite a it's quite tough on your mental health and i i've struggled a lot you know over the last few years um and now that i have like two channels even three i'm kind of running three at the moment it's really tough on on my mental health like i really have to struggle i, I really struggle to stay um like level-headed and stay and keep my head in the game kind of thing um not get overwhelmed by the pressure uh and and to be honest the most successful times of my youtube career there's been like two times when my channels have blown up um relatively and um that's been the worst time i mean it wasn't pleasant at all so like people often say that you know they really want to be famous or they really want to be rich or really successful or something i'd be careful what you wish for because if you're like me anyway it, it's not an easy thing at all uh, the more you acquire the more pressure you feel to maintain that the more you pro the more than progress and success that you have the more pressure you feel to live up to a certain ideal or, or whatever and, and that's tough man like i wasn't prepared for it at all as much as much as i've heard all of the horror stories and stuff of burnout like youtuber burnout i wasn't ready for it at all and, and and it's and i think it would be really easy to get lost in it to lose like your humility and stuff you know um like i i could feel my personality kind of change a bit when i when my side type channel blew up and you know and my the, my income like like 10 x <laughs> overnight or even 20 x overnight and that didn't last obviously but but you can kind of feel the effect that it has on you you start sort of valuing things different things valuing your time differently you know and that affects how you engage with people and yeah it's 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 kind of dangerous so i had to reel myself in and be like just just relax and you know just do your thing <laughs> so anyway that that was a really long and kind of negative answer but that that honestly is the number one thing i took away um but yeah i could go in more detail on different different areas other things that i took away but that i would say that's the main thing youtube is a really really hard job um and especially if you want to stay true to yourself and you have to if you don't stay true to yourself it's, it's even harder so you, you you end up you know you'd end up depressed or something um all right next one comes from Ezigbo21. Ezigbo. And they ask, what, uh, Mugs, what mechanics do you think a gold should be able to do? Okay, so we did silver, now we can do gold. Gold, I mean, once you get to gold, you're going to be in, like, the... You're going to be in um, SC field and stuff um, all the time. So, uh, what mechanic? Hmm. Yeah, I can't really think of a single mechanic that a gold would, would benefit from. Of course, gold shots will, be, will still be really useful. Um, uh, yeah, okay, maybe if, if we're not going to go down the stall route, maybe we could say uh, Purple Flicks. Purple Flicks are really, really good. And you, you catch so many people out with that. Like, people aren't ready for it at gold. So even Plat, you start doing Purple Flicks, people just get caught out. So yeah, I'd say that. You can watch my Purple Flick tutorial. It's really, really useful. Um, all right, next one uh, from Dark. Um, thoughts on Luke Restivo. So Luke is um, Baby Yoda. It's baby is the guy behind baby yoda what are my thoughts on luke well he his type of content is not my type of content i'm not interested in that type of content um i can see the appeal to younger audiences so so i you know he he was unbelievably successful when he transitioned from sideswipe to um stumble guys uh, it was unbelievable i mean I, i've never seen a channel grow that quickly so, you know, full credit to him. He, he absolutely is killing it. So, you know, he, he, um, he did such a great job and he came from a smaller channel than mine. He had 20K subs or something when I had 40K or something like that. And so he had a really small channel and then he just, now he has like 400K or something. So he, he, he's doing very, very well. Um, 
yeah other than that um you know he seems like a nice guy i don't you know i haven't had many engagements with him i chatted with him a little bit and you know he, he wanted to do a collaborative video where um, he interviewed me i think he was doing like an interview series back then but I, that was during the peak of my channel and so i wasn't really willing to work with a smaller channel and do a type of content that i wasn't interested in so i just said to him you know i'm not really interested in doing that so yeah sorry bud um and we went our, our separate ways and i haven't had any contact with him since then uh but yeah he's extremely successful and i mean he even put out a side side video recently that did pretty well um but yeah in terms of his content it's not my no, I'm not, it's not my cup of tea i'm not interested in it um but yeah i think he's doing very very well all right last one comes from black and they ask mugs why are you uploading so less these days yeah so th as i said earlier i'm running another channel which is about helldivers 2 and i just don't have that much time to spend on both of the channels um as well as the fact that the hell divers 2 content has the potential to blow up <clears throat> and get you know hundreds of hundreds of thousands like i did a video a few months ago that has 250k you know and i haven't had a side side video do that well in a year plus so the potential of that channel is much greater than the side side channel these days so that's why i focus mo mostly on that but i don't want to let side type channel go i don't want to let the mogs channel go you know and just abandon it so i still do want to make content you know a couple of couple of videos a month or something and i do want to do more i'm trying to sort of i'm you know my my whole divers 2 channel has not been doing very well lately so i do want to kind of focus a little bit more on mogs content so you can probably expect a, a few more videos over the next little while um but yeah, I'm at a bit of a crossroads. I don't really know what I want to do with, with the Mogs channel at the moment. But yeah, anyway, that's the main reason. It's just time restriction. And, you know, my priority at the moment is not Sideswipe. Um, just because the game's kind of dying. And, you know, I've, I've made, I already have a catalog of hundreds of videos. So it doesn't interest me that much. I'm not that passionate about it anymore. So anyway, that's the main reason. Um, but I hope, I don't want to abandon you guys. So I hope you don't feel abandoned or anything. Um, but yeah, that's uh, those are all the questions I've got. So I did a poll on my Discord server. I asked um, whether I should do these videos more often or, you know, and shorter videos or if you want to see longer content like I'm doing now, you know, 30 minute videos and just less often. Um, so if you want to vote on that, come to the Discord server and go to the Ask Mugs channel and you can put your vote in there. Um, whichever one wins, I'll, I'll do that from now on. So, but it seems like you guys want it more often. So I'll, maybe next ama video i'll do like a just a 10 minute video with a bunch of questions and i'll try to do them more often uh, but yeah let me know down below what you guys think and let me know in the in the ask mugs poll as well on the discord server details are on screen and in the video description um and if you want to ask questions in future episodes <clears throat> put put them in the same channel so join the mugs discord server put them in the ask mugs channel um and yeah as always guys thank you so much for watching oh yeah like the video if you like it dislike it if not blah 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 <laughs> And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.